Now in this part we're told that y equals f of x, so y equals x to the power 4 minus 4x minus 8. And we're asked to find the coordinates then of the turning point. I do stress it says turning point, so we know we are going to expect one answer here. Turning points, remember, are where the gradient on, on the curve is zero. Okay, just basically that if you've got a curve, okay, x and y, doesn't matter what the curve looks like, if it was looking something like this, not that this does necessarily, but this would be a turning point where the gradient was zero and this would be where the gradient is zero. So we've got a couple of turning points here. To get that gradient, we need to find dy by dx. So that's where we start, okay? So therefore, dy by dx equals, and if we differentiate this in the normal way, we get 4x cubed, and differentiate minus 4x, you get minus 4. And so, as I was saying over here, at turning points, and I'd recommend that you write this in, okay, at turning points we know that dy by dx equals zero. It's a concept and it will normally get you a mark, okay, if we can see that going in. At turning points dy by dx equals zero. So therefore what we're going to have is 4x cubed minus 4 is going to equal zero. A cubic equation, we need to try and factorize it so we could pull out 4, 4 bracket x cubed minus 1 equals 0. So we've got two factors here, the 4 times the other factor x cubed minus 1. 4 can't equal 0, so it's got to be therefore x cubed minus 1 that equals 0. And if we add 1 to both sides, we get x cubed equals 1. And if you take the cube root of 1 now to get x, you end up with the cube root of 1 is 1. All right. Now that we've got x is 1, we need to find out what the corresponding y value would be. So we can say that when x is 1, let's get what that y value is. We just need to substitute 1 into our value for x up here. So we've obviously got 1 to the power of 4, which is 1, minus 4 times 1, which is 4, and then minus the 8. 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus another 8 is going to give us minus 11. So all we need to do now is just summarize and just say that therefore there's a turning point, okay, turning point at, and we've got the x value which was 1, and the y value minus 11. Alright, okay, that brings us to the end of this part then.